and will spread out on line and start to sweep. So it's stay abreast and don't get ahead. You got sixes with it, with them staying close. You got your ammo broke out so you don't take no time to get at it. If we get in any firefight, we can stay right there and we got 81 and back up for support. Let's go. Let's get it done. All right, let's get them ready to go. You got that? Get ready. Are we ready to move out? Okay, everybody ready? Moving out. All right. First one, get right. All right. It's going to get dark here pretty damn soon. If we get hit, we'll have trouble keeping contact. Okay, CP group, let's get ready to move out. FO team, we're going to move in a trace of the second baton. Take a look at it. Okay, move it out. Hey, Steiner, call the flank and tell him to go ahead about 400 meters.
Mike two, Mike three, Mike three. Come right front, straight across. Back back that we have here is but a taste of the eternal happiness we're going to have in heaven. But in order to achieve that eternal life in heaven, we must go through the process that we have come to call death. God has given us life that we should live it fully, live it completely, live it happily. God chooses the minute to call us back and uses various circumstances to achieve that. In addition, there are five regional VC platoons operating in the same area. This is a hardcore VC area. We're bound to run into booby traps. You all know what that can do to a man. It'll blow his leg off, it'll put a piece of shrapnel into his brain, and it can cause a hell of a lot of casualties throughout the entire company column. Initially, I'll be with the second platoon. Are there any questions? What about vehicle and suspect prisoners? How do you want us to handle them, sir? Normal procedures for, uh, VCS and VC. The choppers are marine choppers. They can be to us if we put these reports in properly. They can be to us in 20 minutes. We're going to have to make a major river cross. We're going to be hit little villages on both sides of the trail. We're going to be moving in all kinds of terrain. The heat is going to be intense all the way. It's going to require a hell of a lot of stamina on the part of all the troops. Three, take these three people in right here. Yeah, is this here? These people aren't the most goddamn thing either. Uh, Johnson, go get some rope. That's what kind of ideas he has. I say again, Inspector Charlie Suspect. No identification. Uh, uh, the man right there for all the booby traps. The guy needs to... Hey, Tom. I think she's blind. She's blind. She's blind. We'll check it out. We'll pull up there on our left. Second squad. Could be something in here. You two check this file right here. Another one of these things. I'll take a stick. Oh, it was about two months ago. They found a sniper rifle on these trails. Hey, this is your squad right here. Careful. And then it takes about three or four minutes for them to set one up. It looks like an M26.
I wonder how many people was killed by our own gear. Doesn't take much. I don't see ration canes. Why? I don't mark 26 grenades. I wonder how these people get it. Come here, doctor. Come here. Come here, doctor. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, 
Mama son doing all right? How's Mama son doing? He's doing fine, Gunny. Just doing fine. Okay, little tiger. Okay. No, I got four of my own. This is the first time I've ever seen one born. Hey, you pay attention now, Vince. You're going to learn something from this. Pretty strong kid, too. That's a cute looking baby, huh? There you go, little fella. Yeah, hey. out of this hole, look around you, and you'll see that in just about any direction. One thing you've got to realize is they're all around us. That's other OPs getting hit, or maybe a, could possibly be a squatter, or maybe even a platoon out on a patrol, or an ambush opening up, but they're all around you. At night, they have almost complete free movement anywhere they want to go around. The only thing we really, really own is this, this hill we're on right now. They come close, I mean, they, about two o'clock in the morning, they come up on us and they hit us from three sides at one time. They hit us with a pretty good size force, supposed to be a battalion or so. And uh, we had 23 people wounded, eight people killed. We ran them back where they come from. Killed quite a few of them. That's about the extent of it. Vince, where are you from? American States. Bridgeport, Connecticut. I lived there all my life. I've got a fiance sitting back there. I plan on marrying her as soon as I get back. We got our own patrols out beyond the wire. And there'll be a lot of stuff flying around here. OP-32 saw a lot of movement in the vicinity of No Name Village. We heard nothing from them since. We gotta get this guy tonight and once and for all. We've been out there now five cotton picking times. You want me to put a man on that main trail to the left over here? I want to tell anything. you I want a man in there and I want flank security out also. I want more fire superiority on this. I want point of aim, point of impact. Let's aim at these targets, let's hit these targets. We want this here VC and I want him bad. So is the CO, so is everybody else. He's got a carbine, he uses it, he knows how to use it. He's been hitting people. Let's get him now. Dug up over here. Corporal Vance, check and see if there's anything under. We'll take a squad and start on your sweep down on the back side over here. 
Empty's houses, every one of them. Five BC. Dad, who? Five BC. There you go. Yes. Put the way on us. They don't stay in any particular house. He's a lion son of a bitch. Well, he's not he told us that they had it out, man. Dad, who? Five BC. He's a lion, man. All right, squire, let us up. You gotta know something about those booby traps. Ask him, what about these grenades? I got two grenades. I don't believe him now. So ask him again about the booby traps in his time on. He's called BC. He doesn't know anything about VC around this area. VC, Corban. Corban. He's not going to answer that, huh? He doesn't know a thing about it. People cry over here. They want to maybe. I've seen these families start crying, you know, and they don't even know the guy. A lot of times. Vietnam, broadcasting from Hanoi, capital of the Democratic Republic of Vietnam. This is our special broadcast to American servicemen in South Vietnam. Here is the news. The U.S. Marines suffered heavy blows. The Liberation Forces wiped out some 1,000 raiding troops, shot down 80 planes, and blew up many armored cars. But confused the Marines have been forced. Hi, love. The United States Armed Forces Radio and Television Service, and you have a date with me. So stick around, okay? Now here is Guy Lombardo and his Royal Canadian with another salute to this time of year. Eating lunch, sitting down eating lunch, somebody opened up on them. Sure to hell glad they ain't in America, they don't do things. They, uh, whoever was shooting at them just opened up on them. That was, that's about it. Uh -huh. just, uh, that, she didn't see who it was. They're all related. They're all members of the same family. Right, we got a medevac in, emergency medevac. Uh -huh. Line Bravo, coordinate. Oh, 
back six, back six. We got a second floor in there. Jeep, you stood in line. Pop the smoke. Medivac chopper's my two, over. Uh, this is my two. Can you, have you got my smoke spotted at this time, over? Uh, this is Medivac chopper, Roger. I, uh, I have you on sight now.